Hello guys and welcome to episode 38 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. My name is Stefan Persson, also known as Infensia. Last Saturday we had a lot of fun. It was a 24 hour live stream to celebrate 100,000 subscribers on this channel. From 6 a.m. in the morning on Saturday until 6 a.m. on Sunday. I sat in this chair pretty much the whole time and modeled uh, low poly characters and I animated them and rigged them and things like that. And I saw a lot of things going on in the chat. I wish I could have caught a little bit more of it, but the stuff that I did see, you seemed like you had a pretty good time and so did I. I had a lot of fun trying to catch up what was going on. I did some mistakes, but my wife ran down and my kids going, the music is too loud. <laughs> I can't hear what you're saying. Someone asked a question that I missed. A special big thank you to C64 Gamer. You spent over 16 hours in the chat moderating it, every line of it. And you'd been out the night before on a concert, so I'm actually really impressed with what you did as well, and I'm very thankful. Thanks for helping me out. To everyone else who enjoyed the chat, who uh, did the super chats to recommend characters that I'm doing, just gonna bundle that package up now and have that sent up. And my voice is still recovering. I think uh, it'll take another few days because I did a lot of talking. I didn't get as tired as I thought. My eyes started to itch maybe after 18 hours or so, but they recovered and then my voice started to give in when it was about one hour to go. But it was so much fun, so thank you very much if you joined me. And if you didn't join me, you can still catch that live stream because uh, it split up into six sections because I had to split it up for the uh, YouTube auto archiving. But if you go to my channel and uh, you have a look under the live section there, you can actually enjoy the whole 24 hours of low poly modeling that I did last Saturday. So with that said, we're gonna do some uh, modeling now. And uh, I had some requests both in the chat, I think in the Discord and maybe even, uh, yeah, maybe it was uh, during a premiere chat. I'm not quite sure who said it. But there's been some requests to do Fall Guys. So Fall Guy from the game Fall Guys. That seems to be super popular right now. Uh, my daughter Amelia just bought that game and she's playing it a little bit. And I had a little go myself. Quite fun. And now I'm going to try to model one of those characters. So without further ado, let's model a Fall Guy from Fall Guys. Ready? Steady, go! And we're off. Yes, uh, do Control 2 get a subdivision modifier on it. Uh, Control A to apply that one. Tab into edit mode. Slide it up to here. And then let's do Alt Z, C through, 3, face select, B to box select, Alt E, new feature, Blender 2.9, extrude manifold, to there, Control R, loop cut, maybe that many times, Alt Z to C again, here we'll do that little uh, flat face that they've got, white one, so let's do, first of all we should sm shade this one smooth, shade smooth, and then I'll do Control 3 to do another subdivision modifier, tab, and here, let's do edit, loop tools, circle, S to scale it up. And here, I to inset, go these little uh, white indented faces. And I to inset again, E to extrude it in. I to inset that one. Okay, that should do. Select everything, G, make it pink. Select those, control plus and go white there. And that's the face, so arms now. Select these on the side here, go circle on them. E to extrude, S to scale, 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 Z. Make a hand here, E to extrude for the thumb, E to extrude for the palm, E to extrude for the fingers. Let's get the thumb gone. Circle, E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, S to scale. And here, let's make this into the middle finger. Scale, circle, scale it down. E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, S to scale. Here, index finger, and scale it down, E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, S to scale. And the pinky. Select these two, circle, E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, S to scale. That's it. Now we need legs as well. So I think I'll go for uh, G, okay, proportional with O, G, Z. Let's flatten it a little bit at the bottom. Select everything, move it down to there maybe. Tab. Now we have to make little legs here. So I'll select these. Go circle on that one. From you. Scale up. Okay, proportional off. E to extrude, S to scale. R to rotate. R to rotate. Uh, scale Z. E to extrude, S to scale Z. We'll do zero actually on the Z. Move it down to there. And then control R, let's get control R, some scale Z zero here, and we have to get the foot out as well. Got these little tiny feet. E to extrude, and then move those down. 
both of those. There we go. That's the feet. And now we should do, uh, I think that's it for the body. So let's apply this one and then do auto mirror. We've got both sides and then eyes, little black eyes here. So we'll do here, 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 here. Select a few of these. Shift D to duplicate it. P, separate it into a new object. Tab in to edit that one. E to extrude. L to select linked A, G on the left side to get the black color. Control tab, itchy mouth. <laughs> control two. Uh, control A to apply that one. And then here, we can scale them up, and move them down to the and move them in. Okay, now I think the main body is done 616, so I should do, they sometimes have these uh, like weird looking hats, animal hats. So let's do something about that. Let's try it. Shift A, let's add a cube. Okay, tab out of object mode here, somehow, there. Shift A, add cube. Shift select this one and do control L and get the materials across and move up to the head there tab a scale zero let's make a fox head or a, something like that uh, control two to subdivide it out it doesn't look like a fox control a and then do auto mirror as well and then tab into edit mode on this thing a scale it up a bit and out it's gonna be a bit bigger here alt z so we see through i'm gonna cut out some space here for the head. So Alt E to Alt E. Okay, E to extrude just, just the scale. Just make it like that. You can't see this anyway, I don't think. So G. And then here we need to make space for the shoulders as well. We're gonna move this down, move that one up to there. Maybe out here. And now let's extrude something like a fox face. Slide that one, scale it down. E to extrude again, right click, move it on the Y axis, scale that one down, move it in. Okay, this looks like an eagle <laughs> instead of a fox or something. But let's try anyway, how am I doing? 440, here, there. Now we do an I here. G, G, G. Okay, I to inset, I to inset an I, <laughs> E to extrude. S to scale, G to move that on. And uh, here, let's do black, like a nose. Is this a fox or an eagle? I haven't decided yet. Let's go white and black there. Okay. E to extrude, S to scale, it just became a fox. <laughs> it's not an eagle anymore. G to move that on. I to inset, S to scale. G, 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 that one down a bit, there. E to extrude that one, S to scale, and do darker around there. Okay, and uh, now we can move this whole thing down onto the head. And in that case, we should move this one up as well. So the shoulders can fit. And this one needs to come up now that edge maybe how am i doing for time here uh, three minutes to go let's subdivide this uh, fox face then as well and we'll do control two to subdivide it okay i should have some holding edges here but make control r so we don't get, go like a fudge ball instead of a fox still looks like a fudge ball maybe but <laughs> okay key to move that on Let's tighten this. Okay, does that help? Control, control two. Okay, still looks like a fudge ball. Let's extrude this then. See if we can get some other shape here. E to extrude, S to scale, G to move that down. <laughs> okay, let's get this going as well. E to extrude, S to scale, move that one down. Maybe we'll do. How am I doing? Two minutes. Maybe like that. E to extrude. That's the scale. Okay, we can move this in maybe. R to, 
archer rotate that need to move that on in. Okay. We should shade this smooth as well since everything else is smooth. Face shade smooth. Maybe we'll color. Okay, now I need to fix this in here. Difficult to see when Alt set and Alt click that one. Alt set G maybe. White. Okay, that should do. Still not a lot of definition here, so Control R. Scale that one. Maybe we can do something here. I to insert that one. G to move that. Okay. 126. Okay, we've got some something just broke there. GG. Let's move this up to the to there. Okay. This one's too big. Scale it. G to move it on. Okay, uh, this is not looking like a fox anyway, but let's do uh, something about these colors here. We've got 56 seconds to go, so uh, I'll do uh, Control A on to apply that one. Tab into edit mode, and then maybe we can color it a little bit. So C to circle, oh, face select, C to circle, select a few of these. And my middle click there. Go for a brighter brown here. G to there. And then here, I've uh, got 28 seconds, so comma, normal, G, Z. Oh, G, shift, Z. We can slide these. G, shift, Z to break up this. That shouldn't distort them so much, but it should take the edginess away. G, shift, Z. G, shift, Z. G, shift, Z. Eight seconds. <laughs> G, shift, Z. G shift Z, get just get these. G shift Z. G shift Z. There we go. <laughs> okay. That's it. Dismiss. Fall guy with uh, some sort of a fox head or something. <laughs> okay. A very wide one. Okay. So that's it. Um, a fall guy, I think. We've got face area. Hands. Weird looking hands. Let's bring up a fall guy to compare. Fall guys. And images. And here we go. That's the general shape. There we go. There's one. And then we should put them side by side. Oh, I'll have to take these hat off this hat hat off then. Take my hat off for it. <laughs> fall guy. Uh, there we go. So it's a bit difficult to see the arms because I don't really see how long they are. But it's got a similar shape anyway. It's got the little indented face, little black eyes, and a totally messed up hand that won't uh, work so well. And then little feet. And then I saw some uh, stuff here. They've got like, uh, let's see, when I played it, they had uh, these hats on. So if we look at... Uh, Images again. There's like a dinosaur. There's a tiger. Here are some uh, like dinosaurs. But I'm sure they had. Oh, there's a bird. We've got a fox head on top of him. Let's do uh, a couple of tips this week as well, because I think I missed one last week. The first one I want to do is uh, if we do Shift A again and do the cube, Control 2 to do the subdivider, Control A to apply that subdivision. One of the things, uh, I've mentioned this before, but this is super useful. I think uh, when you select these faces, like I did here, shift select these in edit mode, you can go to tools and I've enabled uh, something called uh, loop tools in edit, loop tools here, and then circle. And that takes these faces and arranges them into a circle. And uh, then you can extrude that one. And uh, if you're gonna do a death star, for example, it's pretty good because if you don't do that circle thing, it look quite square. So I've said that one before, but it's keep that one in mind. It's super useful. The other thing I want to do is uh, let's do Alt Z and expand it here. Let's do E to extrude that on Control R. Don't even know why I did the extrude manifold yet. I'll have to look up what that does. I thought that took like the whole head and extruded it up, but the same. I'll have to look that one up. Here, what I wanted to show as well. 
So when I had done uh, for the face here, and then we did circle, scaled it. And here, if I were to apply the control three and do a subdivision modifier here and apply it, then trying to work with this now is quite tedious because I've lost the roundness of that uh, face. So if I try to extrude this one now, it wouldn't look so good. And if I try to do circle here, you can see that it totally wrecks this uh, mesh, totally. So that's no good. So in many, not in many cases, but in some cases, it's good to actually keep this modifier here. So control three, tab into edit mode because then I can use this low poly mesh and we've got this uh, very uh, simple shaped circle that doesn't even look like a circle. But when I do I to inset here and E to extrude it, the subdivision actually works really, really well. Because these type of surfaces are quite difficult to get, believe it or not. If you were to try to do this in a different way, and especially if you had a high poly version, like here. Let's say we just did this here, and then worked off uh, control three on a high poly mesh here, control A. I mean, there are some tricks you could try to do. For example, if you look from the front here, we could do proportional editing, scale this, and try to get it to like a round shape. But you always get uh, these uh, jagged edges in the end. Because if I try to, here, control plus a few times here. And plus it pokes out, it lost the roundness of the shape and you still get these. Yeah, it doesn't work so well at all. And sometimes it can be a little bit uh, dangerous to, uh, <laughs> dangerous, <laughs> what would be dangerous? But sometimes it's not optimal. And same as we did for arm here. Circle, so that's a bonus tip now. Loop tools, preferences, add-ons and enable loop tools. But this one's very useful. And then the second tip then is to uh, model with a subdivision modifier on, but keep the simple uh, geometry here when you edit, especially if you're going to do blob-like characters like this. So that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, come back next week for episode 39. We're nearly on episode 40. Can't believe how fast the year is going. And then I'll uh, be doing some more videos with uh, Blender, Unity, game development. I'm going to do that Bolt video, for example. I've got low poly racing episode six to do. Uh, I want to look at some Unreal Engine, uh, do some blueprints there maybe, you name it, I'm going to want to do it. <laughs> so until next week everyone, hopefully my voice has recovered a little bit more and uh, check out that live stream if you haven't done it already and you can still pre-order those characters. I'm going to bundle those up now and have them sent out to those who did the super chats to request special characters there. That's it, take care, bye for now.